What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, capital G-U-G-U-E, Michaels. Welcome to Film Talk with Google E. Michaels. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about lighting, how to use uh, practical lights, uh, how to use the sunlight to light a scene. Um, you know, a lot of people always think you have to use uh, 50 lights. Uh, you know, hey, uh, not that I'm disagreeing. Everybody has their own way of lighting a scene. And me, I believe in my scenes looking as natural as possible. Uh, so I just like to use a lot of practical lights. And also, if I'm shooting in the daytime, I like to use the sunlight. And also, I'm going to show you how to, uh, if you have your subject that's standing in front of uh, 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 um, a big uh, light source, uh, like a, a, a huge window like it's behind me, uh, in the daytime, that'll be all the way washed out. You understand? So I'm going to show you how to light a scene when you're lighting against the sunlight as well. Okay? Let's get started. As you can see, it's washed out. And you know, the outside, you can see, you can't really, there's no detail outside. And it's overshadowing him and making him even darker. Um, so what I would do, if this is actually a scene, I would dim it down, uh, you know, I'll take it down. See, now you can see the, all the details outside. You see, you see the cloud, you see the car, uh, you saw the details in the background, uh, the concrete, you know, nothing is blown out. You can even look, uh, use your uh, practical light as a guide to let you know, you know, because it's, it's not it's not clipping. And I'm gonna use this Fresno light right here, uh, and also this Fresno light as well. And uh, as soon as I cut that on, you see the difference? See, now you see his face, uh, you see his, uh, his hair, all the detail. Um, and I'm shooting outside, you can see, see the details outside. So if this was a scene, you know, he can use the walk scene, I can now, pan the camera a little bit to follow him, and then bam, he lands on his mark. You know, that's a, that's a good take, you can keep that. And as you can see, right now, um, it's been lit just by the sunlight, you know. Though this is, a good, this is good, you can actually use this, it's not that bad. But what I would like to do is just to illuminate his face a little bit more, just to give it a little bit more detail, you know, where it's not too shadowy. So I'm gonna turn my light on, and let's see what it's gonna look like right quick. Now, see how it, it brightened it up? The whole scene is now, it's, it's bright. Uh, and there's no shadow, there's nothing that's too harsh, that's too, that's too distracting. You can focus on the scene. And then, you know, and again, it's up to you. If you want to, you can even uh, take it down. If, if, if it's too bright for you, if you want it to look more like a, a, moody, uh, a moody film scene, you can take it down a notch, you know, See, now it looks a little bit more natural, like it's, it's you know, it's cloudy outside, you know, um, and the sun is hiding, so you can actually use that. Or, if it's a commercial, you can brighten it up, you know, um, you can brighten it a little bit more uh, for a commercial, you know. Now everything is bright now, but nothing is clipping still. If you look in the corner, the reflection, nothing is clipping. And the same thing applies here. This is actually a film that I shot, uh, and this, if you can see, I'm only using one light, one Fresno light, uh, just to highlight his uh, his left shoulder. And, but it's too distracting, you know. Even though it looks good with the background, but the lighting from the outside is too distracting, you know. And and it's like, what are you watching? Are you watching the background? You're watching him. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move him. Now nothing is distracting you, and it's focused on him. The same lighting. The only difference is I just moved him in a different. Uh, position uh, with the, uh, the same lighting, the same everything. And now you see all the detail. You see his hair, his shirt, his beard, then the background, everything is just, it's, it's, it's a good shot. You know, you can even see the sweat on his forehead. And, here, and the same thing with this one, let's pause it right quick. And as you can see, the same setup, light hitting their left, Fresno to their right, just to brighten up illuminate that right hand side you know and I think you know that's that nothing too much just subtle and make it look looks reali uh, realistic now before you say no listen to my brother he's got something to say to you and there you have it um, thank you for watching and uh,
Tune in next time where we discuss more about filmmaking, talk about lenses, lights, cameras, everything dealing with film. Okay? Now, if you want to get in contact with me, you can hit me up on my Instagram, which is G U G U B O O. That's Google Boo. And if you want to uh, contact me via my Facebook, it is Google E Michaels. And if you want to hit me up on my Twitter, it is at G U G U1904. And if you like what I'm doing, please hit that subscribe button. Drop me a comment, you know, whether good or bad. It doesn't matter. Let's get this dialogue going. Okay? And until the next time, I'm Google E Michaels with Film Talk signing out. Bam!